Okay, hello everyone, CoinHound here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, in the month of July, I did have a flurry of spending on silver uh, in anticipation of a potential price rise coming up either in late summer or early fall. Uh, that uh, appears to have been a wise decision because the uh, spot price has uh, significantly moved upward. Uh, so this is my July haul here on the table, and I just thought I would share some of my findings or some of the things I brought in. Uh, I do get bored pretty quickly with just stacking the same old things, so I, I have uh, gathered up a, a wide variety of different types of things uh, with these high premiums on standard bullion like maple leaves and silver eagles. Uh, it seemed uh, a little bit uh, more reasonable to go out and buy some collectible coins that also have high premiums or higher premiums, uh, because in the end, a lot of them uh, ended up not being all that more expensive uh, than a Silver Eagle or a Maple Leaf, and uh, generally they have a lower mintage and a little bit of a collectible value. So anyways, I'm having a little trouble with my boom here, so I might be adjusting the picture as we go, so you'll have to bear with me on that. Uh, I do ask, uh, please, please, if you... Uh, have not subscribed or not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button for me. That helps me very much. Uh, if you enjoy the video, do hit the like button and uh, feel free to share any comments, uh, either on the content of the video or what you've been doing uh, with your own stack uh, in these very interesting times. So the first item I have on the table here uh, is a two ounce silver round. Uh, this is uh, the Boston Massacre 250th anniversary. And if you follow my channel, you know I'm into kind of the history stuff, particularly American history. Saw this, had to have it. Uh, it is a, a, a very large round from diameter, but it's still a bit thin, but two ounces. Uh, this is uh, published or printed, minted, I guess you would say, by the Native American Mint. This is the backside. Uh, it is the first in an American Revolution series, so I'm looking forward to what else comes out. Uh, you can see on the back here you have an eagle, uh, the Tree of Liberty, and some people at the bottom. And then, of course, on the front side you have the famous etching of the Boston Massacre, uh, which was uh, put out and distributed throughout the colonies uh, by Paul Revere. Uh, he didn't do the actual drawing, but he did do the printing of it, the engraving of it, and sending it about. It did help... Uh, heightened tensions between the Americans and the British government. And as I said, this is shifting a little on me here. Okay, uh, so next up, we have the one ounce uh, silver whale. There we go. Uh, this was put out by SD Bullion. Uh, it is a limited mention, of, sorry, mintage of 30,000. Uh, I picked up four of them. Uh, I like the design. Uh, maybe down the road I'll try and flip a few of them. Uh, but nevertheless, a neat coin. Uh, I always figure if I can't flip something, I can always pass it on to my kids. Uh, so that's uh, pretty neat. The backside here, uh, this is the Republic of Congo. Uh, so there you see 2020. Uh, so I picked up four of those. Now, one of my favorites of the month uh, is this here. Uh, this is the HMS Bounty. I love coins with ships on them. Uh, this is uh, from the Cook Islands, 2020. Sorry, 2020 there. Uh, the queen on the back, uh, pretty, pretty standard back there, but this is the side. Uh, I like the photos of it, but now that I see it in person, the photos, even this camera doesn't really do it justice. Uh, just a really neat coin. Uh, I also picked up four of those. I ended up, the only place I could find it was from the silver trader in England. Uh, and to get the shipping cost uh, down, I shouldn't say down, but uh, it was basically a $10 shipping cost. And uh, for one coin, that would be crazy. So I got four uh, to try and keep the shipping to a minimum per coin. Uh, maybe I will be flipping some of those uh, as well. All right. And, um, Next up, we have uh, Antigua and Barbados, uh, the Rum Runner. Okay, this also is a 2020. Uh, so that's another ship theme. Uh, pretty darn neat. Just picked up one of those. Uh, once again, you've got the Queen. 
on the back. What else did I get? Well, let's check this out. Okay. A little more American history type stuff here. Uh, this is George Washington, Silver Round. Okay. Uh, trying to get the good focus here. This is from Intaglio Mint. Uh, it is a Second Amendment round. Uh, so it does have um, some inscriptions related to the Second Amendment. On the back, it actually has a script. Oops, I got it upside down. Okay, there you go. It has a script, uh, Bill of Rights, uh, and then it has the uh, Second Amendment uh, in the text to that there. Uh, so just a pretty coin. Uh, as you may know, if you've seen my videos, I really do like a lot of the stuff coming out of the Intaglio Mint. A lot of it is patriotic and historic, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, over to the right here, I have a slabbed American eagle. See if we can get the focus good here. All right, so this is an MS70 2020. Uh, I don't buy a lot of slab stuff, particularly for bullion, uh, but I, I decided I just wanted to have one uh, American Eagle that I could say is quote unquote perfect. Uh, MS70 here, 2020, it's been such a crazy year. Uh, so this seems like it would be a nice uh, memory to, for that. Uh, here's the backside. Uh, so I did decide to pick that up. I got this one. Um, Trying to think where I got this one from. I think I got it from Universal Coin, um, which uh, I found some good deals on. Uh, it doesn't come up too much in the YouTube community, but uh, they have a nice website, and you might want to check them out if you haven't. Uh, I should note here that as I'm mentioning some of the dealers I picked up from, that uh, I'm not affiliated with any dealers, not sponsored, supported by any. Uh, so this is just sharing my experiences. <laughs> Next one is a pretty neat silver coin. Uh, this one here is a 2019 island of Montserrat, and it's got a harp and a bunch of shamrocks on it. Apparently, uh, Montserrat, which is in the Caribbean, apparently uh, at some point there was a bit of an Irish population that made its way to the island. I don't know if they went as indentured servants or what the circumstances were, uh, but they found that the landscape, the geography reminded them of home. Uh, and it's uh, come to be known by the nickname the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. Uh, and so you see that theme on their various coins. Of course, with a lot of these coins, once you get over to the obverse, uh, it's pretty anticlimactic because it's going to be some version of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, I picked up a second coin. This is the 2018 from Montserrat. Uh, a bit different. It's got the British flag on there, uh, but it's also got a, a little crest uh, that has a cross and a woman with a harp. It's uh, probably a little bit hard to see there, um, but that's a pretty neat looking coin as well. And of course, you've got the Queen Elizabeth. Now, moving onward, as my boom keeps shifting here, I'm gonna have to work on my equipment. If anyone has any recommendations for something that really holds your camera well, um, that's not overly expensive, I'd love for you to leave that in the comments section. Uh, now, uh, Wedgetailed Eagle. This is a 2019 Wedgetailed Eagle. I have been collecting the kookaburras from Australia. Uh, I just like a lot of different things with birds on them. Uh, and I kind of uh, caught, uh, ca captured my fancy with these Wedgetailed Eagles. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go back and get a bunch of them. But I got a 2019. I also have a 2020. And I'll probably try and get them, at least one of them, moving forward each year. Uh, and, of course, on the backs of the queen. <clears throat> Next up, uh, we have the giraffe. This is from the world's the world's wildlife collection, and this is kind of neat. It's almost like a proof-like finish with kind of a mirrorish background. Got to be careful about doing a face reveal there. Uh, and this is from the Congo, so it has kind of the standard. Uh, um, I assume this might be the obverse because it's got the country's logo on there. Uh, but that's pretty standard, standard across the uh, Congo coins. Uh, I picked up the leopard from Ghana. The African leopard from Ghana. Uh, one ounce uh, silver. And then on the back, you guessed it, the queen. Okay. 
Now, uh, coming back over here, we have uh, Flying Fish. That up. Okay, the Flying Fish. This just came out from Atmex uh, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's one ounce. Once again, we have the Queen. I feel like I'm repeating myself here. This is a $5 coin. And it's from the island of Tokelau. Uh, not, to uh, not to be confused with Tuvalu. Uh, Tokelau. And uh, I absolutely know nothing about Tokelau. Uh, probably should have looked it up before... Uh, I pulled this up, um, but Flying Fish, got some neat detail on that. Uh, I just picked up one of those, kind of to round out in order. Here uh, we have the uh, Giants of the Ice Age. This is the Saber-Toothed Tiger. Uh, I believe it's the second in the series. And this is from the Republic of Ghana. Okay, there's a good view. Uh, and so the first one was the Mammoth. I don't have that one. I've looked at retroactively getting it off eBay or something. Uh, they're a little bit pricey. Got a pretty hefty premium on them. So I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Not sure. Uh, moving along here, uh, we have Seahorse. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, once I got this in person, I, I really, really liked it. It says Caribbean Silver there on the front, on the back side. Barbados, $1. The nice little crest there. Uh, pretty neat. Okay. Got to turn it over here. Okay, there you go. Uh, moving onward, another coin from Barbados. We have the Trident, one ounce silver. This one has a pineapple privy, okay? And I've kind of forgotten about the mintages, but this pineapple privy, uh, this one has a 5,000 mintage. Uh, so that's a pretty lo low mintage. Not sure how popular they are, but I liked it. So I picked it up, same logo on the back there. Uh, just going back retroactively, um, my thing keeps shifting here. I apologize. Uh, the seahorse here uh, that I mentioned has this has a uh, mintage of ten thousand. The flying fish had a mintage of ten thousand, right there. And the giants of the ice age, uh, fifteen thousand. Uh, so a lot of low mintage items right here. Uh, now, up to the right here in some pouches, I have the Nautical series from Rwanda, okay? Uh, and I picked up a number of those. I really do like the Nautical ones. Uh, so the first one here, uh, and my vision is not as good as it used to be with this small print. Um, this is the Santa Maria right here, which was one of the ships that was in Columbus's expedition over to the New World. Hope to be doing some stuff on Columbus down the road as part of a video. Uh, and then uh, this is uh, the backside for Rwanda. Now, these coins have a really neat design, but uh, they're, they're, they also are a little bit busy, so they can be hard to see. I got um, uh, the Mayflower right here. I brought the pilgrims over. I've got... The Victoria, Victoria, sorry, right there, and the, I believe this is the Endeavor, okay, so those are the four that are out. Um, over here, we've got uh, the Atmex release uh, for the Mandalorian, the Mythosaurus. Uh, I am one of those strange cats that is not into Star Wars. Uh, Star Wars doesn't really do it for me at all. Um, uh, but, uh, I figured I'd take a roll of the dice on it. Uh, I did pick up a couple of these mint direct and one just in the, in the flip. Uh, my kids like star Wars, so worst comes to worst, they can get them. But if I can get a good deal, maybe I'll flip these down the road. Uh, always debating between just the one in the flip versus the mint direct. 
Uh, the Mint Direct is kind of seems a little more official, slabbed version. Cost, it costs two bucks more than just the coin itself. Uh, let me know what you think of that in the comments section. Are you a fan of the Mint Direct? Uh, do you think it gets a little more premium down the road? Not worth it, uh, and the like. And this is uh, uh, what I what is this affiliated with? Nui. Sorry, it's Nui. It's right on there. Okay, so this is the island of Nui. Apologize for that. Uh, the small print on these coins just really does in my vision. Uh, I think I need to get some new glasses. Uh, so there you have that. I got a couple of those. And then here we have uh, the new series that was put out by Atmex, uh, Prehistoric Life. Got the Tyrannosaurus Rex here, 2020. Uh, very detailed coin. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up. Uh, he's got a, a, I don't know if it's a... Triceratops down in the, at his feet that he's killed, getting ready to eat. Uh, so um, this got a lot of buzz when it first came out. Uh, I did pick up uh, a couple of these. Only one of them's on the table. Uh, and this is from the Congo. It's fascinating how all these countries from around the world uh, have all these coins that are so popular from a collectible standpoint. Next up, uh, a silver round. This is from the Golden State Mint. Uh, did my first order with them, and this is kind of the Incus Indian design that you find on uh, some of that old pre-33 gold. Uh, just a really neat design. I like it. Uh, it's neat on the gold, but some of those gold pieces are really small. Uh, and getting this here and the silver, just this clean, crisp silver, uh, that's just incredible. I love that. And then on the back side, uh, of course, you've got that, I'm assuming it's an eagle, uh, E Pluripus Unum on there. It does say Golden State Mint. Uh, so I knew I had to have one of those. Uh, basically, when I collect silver rounds, if they're generic silver rounds, uh, I'll always take one of them and put it in a capsule and keep it for my collection. The rest I will just stick in tubes. Uh, here we have, I guess you could say, my first buffalo round. Also from the Golden State Mint. Uh, pretty neat. Um, and uh, I picked that up at the same time I picked up that Indian. Uh, I got several, uh, a couple of these, I should say. Um, and uh, basically, there's the side with the Indian. Uh, so just a, a very neat round. Uh, I know they're very popular, and they're made by a variety of different mints and companies. Uh, but this is the Golden State Mint version. Now, this one here technically is my wife's coin. Uh, this is from South Korea. It is part of their Taekwondo series. 2019, it's the first in the series. It's got a very artsy, artistic rendition here of a man doing a high kick, a uh, Taekwondo person. And um, very neat on the background. You've got a kind of a, uh, a neat, I don't know if you call it a yin and yang design. Um, but it's definitely very neat. It says uh, Korea on there. Uh, there's also a 2020 version, uh, which I'll be looking to get as well. Now another generic silver round. This is uh, one of my favorites. There we go. Honest value never fails. This is the USS Constitution. Uh, this is a round that's been, I think, I think it's been produced by a few different companies. Uh, I actually have another one that I picked up earlier in the year uh, that's dated 1974. Uh, that was not nearly as good a condition as this one. Uh, this looks like it was produced much more recently uh, on the back side. It's got a kind of a neat back side, too. One Troy Ounce, United States of America, 999 Fine Silver. Uh, so uh, just, I just love that round. I love the slogan, love the round, love the story of the Constitution. Great stuff. Okay, thank you for bearing with me. We're getting there here, folks. Let's fix this boom again. Oh, it's just not good. Okay. All right, so here, this is a silver round. This is called the Hunter. If you look carefully, you'll see a Native American and Indian there with a bow. And this is from Gainesville Coins. Uh, this is a Gainesville Coins exclusive silver round, and it's uh, their uh, modern take on the Buffalo coin. Uh, so it has the Indian on one side, uh, and on the back side, it has buffalo. Uh, in this case, it's two buffalo, one in the foreground and one in the background, and then you have some mountains and some sky. This is from 2018. 
Um, they thought it'd be neat to do a, a modern interpretation that doesn't simply just replicate the old Buffalo design, uh, but created something brand new. And, and it's, uh, I think it's neat. I think it's really, really neat. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so if you're interested in these, uh, you would have to go to Gainesville Coin. Uh, it is their standard uh, generic uh, silver round. Uh, so just a, a very neat design there. Now, um, the next several uh, rounds I also got from Gainesville Coin. Uh, and these are silver rounds that are produced by the Mason Mint. Okay, the Mason Mint. Uh, and this first is what's called the Patriot Series. Uh, and this is a three-coin, uh, three-round series in honor of uh, American military uh, events, the Revolution, World War One, and World War Two. And you see three figures there uh, representing each of those conflicts. And then, uh, so that's the same on each of the rounds. And then on the other side, they have uh, the specific uh, to the actual war. So this is World War One. It's got the little plane there. Uh, and a tank in the bottom right that uh, became a, a factor in the war towards the end of the war. Um, unfortunately, I'm showing you these a little bit out of order. Um, meant to do the Revolution one first, but that's the World War I one. Uh, and then you have, sorry, then you have uh, this one is the World War II. And... Uh, it's kind of busy, but it's got an aircraft carrier. It's got a tank. It's got a plane. It's got a lot going on. Uh, not sure that it's captured well on the camera here, uh, but that's pretty neat. I don't know. Maybe a little too busy. I'm not sure, um, but a neat idea. And then uh, finally, uh, you have the American Revolution round, uh, which has uh, the old sailing ship in the background uh, and then uh, a man on a horse uh, in the Revolutionary Garb. Uh, so that's neat. Three coin series. I picked up all three of those from the Gainesville, Gainesville coin. Uh, Mason Men has now started a new series uh, called Frontier. It's also going to be a three coin series. Um, and uh, this is it here. And uh, it's got three different figures represented. Uh, the two coins aren't out the bottom. The one to the far left is a pilgrim. That's the first series. And then I'm not sure what the next two will be. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and then on the back side, there you go. Uh, this is uh, the Pilgrims. Uh, it has a representation of the Pilgrims uh, in their connection to the frontier. The frontier at that time would have just been uh, the eastern coast of the United States. Um, so anyway, so that's pretty neat. And then uh, we have Apollo 11. A series of different Apollo 11 coins and rounds have been issued. Um, Let's see if I can get this good. All right. So you have uh, a scene on the moon here. You have uh, a, the astronaut's foot leaving the footprint. Uh, you have an American flag in the background. Okay, that kind of captures it there. Um, has the famous saying, one small step for man, one large step for mankind. Uh, and then on this side, you have Kennedy, who provided the inspiration uh, for the uh, journey to the moon. Uh, this is the side of the coin that uh, attracted me uh, to uh, getting it, picking it up. Uh, just, uh, I just think it's beautiful. You got Kennedy there on the right. Uh, you have the um, the uh, launch pad uh, on the left with the rocket, and then the moon up in the background. Uh, so, uh, just a, a beautiful, beautiful round. Uh, they also have a two ounce version, high relief. Uh, which I was tempted to get, but did not due to budgetary concerns. Um, but uh, that's just a, a really nice round. Uh, now, oh, there goes my boom again. Any boom recommendations, phone holder recommendations, appreciated in the comments. Um, this thing, oh, I love this one. I love this one. This is a silver round. I picked it up on eBay. Uh, it's from 1965 and marks the 150th anniversary of the Battle of New Orleans, uh, the battle that made Andrew Jackson famous and put him on the path to the presidency. It was a battle in the War of 1812. It was fought uh, 
just on the outskirts of New Orleans. Uh, it was a very one-sided uh, victory uh, for the Americans over the British forces uh, and cemented Andrew Jackson, the uh, leader of the American side, uh, into the annals of legend. Uh, one of the interesting historical tidbits about that battle was that it was fought uh, a couple weeks after the war had actually ended, and they hadn't got the news yet. Uh, so, uh, interesting little tidbit. Uh, you do feel bad for all the men that died in the battle, uh, dying in a battle after the war was already over. Uh, so, on this side, uh, down at the bottom here, it says General Andrew Jackson has the British and American flags, and then kind of the American eagle and shield. Uh, on the other side, it says uh, Sir Edward Pekinen. He was the general uh, in charge of the British forces. It says 150 years of peace. And up at the top, you have the British unicorn and lion and crown. Uh, I think this is 1.3 ounces of three nines fine silver uh, produced by the Metallic Art Company. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. High relief, antiqued, uh, just absolutely beautiful. And finally, last but not least, for all of those of you who have stuck with me through the journey here, uh, another generic silver round. This one is from Gold Silver. Uh, Gold Silver is uh, a bullion company uh, created and run by Mike Maloney. Uh, many of you may be familiar with Mike Maloney. He's a precious metals guru. Uh, has a highly regarded series uh, called The Secrets of Money, uh, in which he looks at uh, kind of the way... Uh, the monetary story has unfolded over the years. Uh, he was very influential in getting me into stacking. Uh, and uh, this round produced uh, for his company, uh, to me, is just spectacular. All right. It says gold silver on the bottom. It's got a charging bull, uh, sun with the rays on it there. And then on the back side, let's make sure I got this turned the right way. Uh, you have uh, uh, a slogan here, and I'm going to have to pull it away for a minute to read it because I can't read it through the screen. Uh, but it says, maximum prosperity can only be achieved through individual freedom, free markets, and sound money. Okay, so you can see that there. Uh, pretty neat slogan. I think a lot of people in this community can relate to that. Uh, you have an Atlas-like figure. Uh, holding up uh, a globe-like concoction. I uh, haven't looked up the symbolism on that, but uh, uh, pretty neat. Uh, this was like my last splurge of the month. Uh, I've kind of really reduced my purchases at this point. Uh, gold, silver, uh, uh, unfortunately, has a $500 threshold for free shipping. Uh, so I did decide to go ahead on my last splurge and uh, pick up 23 of these so I could get that free shipping. Uh, so I have a, a few individual ones, and then I have a two. Uh, and uh, I think this is, of all the various generic silver rounds, uh, I really like that Hunter I showed you from Gainesville Coin. Uh, but uh, this one might be my favorite. Uh, just a, a really neat silver round. Uh, anyways, so that is it uh, for uh, my uh, Mega July purchases. Uh Looking back on them here, uh, I must say I'm, I'm very pleased with everything I picked up uh, as I'm filming this. Uh, <laughs> hard to believe, but it's spot price uh, right at about $27 for silver. Who, who would have thunk that uh, a month ago? So anyways, thank you for coming along on the journey with me here. Uh, I appreciate you all. Uh, as uh, I said at the beginning, uh, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, help me out there, and uh, if you like the video, uh, please hit like. All those subscriptions, all those likes help out the channel, and uh, share your thoughts in the comments. Uh, your thoughts on anything I showed, uh, your thoughts on things that you've picked up, or any favorites you have that you've gotten recently. Uh, if you have any recommendations for something to hold my camera that doesn't move around, uh, please throw that in there, uh, and I appreciate you for coming along. And uh, that's going to be it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you have a great day or evening, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, until next time, so long.